we're safer than ever from climate related disasters. This is a very important fact. You know, the rate of climate related disaster death is down by a factor of 50 over the last century. So your your chance of dying from a climate related disaster like extreme temperature or storm or flood is 150th what it used to be, which the world is totally in denial about this. They act because anytime anyone dies from a climate event, they say, oh, well, it's the fault of fossil fuels, but fossil fuels make possible the whole infrastructure that protects us from these things and, and makes it safe. So they, I'm just stressing, they've been 180 degrees wrong. So it's not just they were a little wrong. They were the exact, they predicted it'd get much worse and it overall got much better. And this applies basically to every area of life mm -hmm. where catastrophe has been predicted. And I think one, there are two things. So one that I indicated already is that people's standard for evaluating the earth is lack of impact. And from that perspective, the modern world is a catastrophe because we impact the world today a lot more than we did 40 years ago. And we impact climate more than we impacted it 40 years ago. So they just think impact is bad. So by that standard, today's much, much better earth for humans is bad. So that's that's one thing. I think the thing that's most common among people is what I call the delicate nurturer assumption. So this is the idea that nature exists in a delicate nurturing balance that human beings ruin. And this leads to the expectation that our impact is going to is always on the edge of causing an apocalypse. And if you believe in this delicate nurturing earth, you, you always think the next impact is going to do it. So even if the last eight prophecies have been wrong, you still think, well, it can't work this way. For example, you think, oh, well, if we keep impacting the climate, it just has to explode somehow. Or, or in resources, this is a big one in economics. It's like, oh, if we keep consuming resources, we have to run out. And there it's, you don't understand resources. You think resources are a finite pile nature gave us versus nature gave us a basically infinite pile of raw materials that we can transform into resources if we use our intelligence.